Imagine stumbling upon a 1998 S Kennedy of dollar, a coin that looks like it could be worth just 50 cents. But what if I told you this piece can actually command much more? Here's why. This is no ordinary coin, it's a stunning example from a special mint set known as SMS Half Dollar. With surfaces that gleam brilliantly and nearly flawless detail, it's crafted to an extraordinary standard. Struck as a special issue by the US Mint, the SMS Half Dollar commemorates the Kennedy series and stands apart from regular proofs and circulation coins. Its distinct satin-like finish created through a specialized minting process adds a unique refined touch that collectors prize. This particular gem graded at superb specimen 69 has only the faintest imperfections visible only under magnification, a true testament to its exceptional quality. The high SP69 grade and near flawless appearance make it a must-have for collectors of high-grade modern coins. Not surprisingly, this beauty fetched an impressive $125 at a recent Stax Bowers auction. Hey coin collectors, welcome to Coin Us. Today we are covering 10 valuable US coins to keep an eye out for in 2024. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel, your ultimate guide to spotting rare coins among the ordinary ones. Now without further ado, let's keep things moving with the next coin. You may think that this is a damaged coin and throw it away, but don't do it. You could be throwing away a valuable coin. This is undated error coin. This is undated error penny with 35% ragged clipped, graded in mint state 64 red and brown by NGC. The 35% ragged clipped on this scent is an intriguing minting flow where part of planchet was not properly cut, resulting in a jagged uneven edge that can be clearly seen along the rim. The ragged clip adds an in an element of rarity and interest to this piece as it deviates from the standard minting process and creates a distinctive visual characteristic. The MS64 red and brown grade indicates that this coin is a mint state with a solid level of quality and appealing eye appeal. It recently fetched $240 at Stax Bowers auction. Here is popular error penny in circulated condition. 1955 Lincoln Sand was a double diverse graded as AU53 by PCGS. This coin is known for its dramatic doubling on the obverse lettering and the date 1955 graded AU53 this coin is in about uncirculated condition with some signs of wear, though it still retains most of its original details and luster. While not in mint state, AU is a solid grade for this variety, especially given its status as an error coin which remains highly collectible even in circulated grades. It was sold for $1980. This is 1943s Washington Quarter with double diverse, graded in mint state 66 by PCGS and proven by CAC. A well-known and among the most dramatic varieties of the series, icy smooth surfaces and gleaming satin brilliance gives this well-struck example a great look. Very challenging to find the Bow MS64 level. This MS66 gem was sold for $2,280 at Stax Bowers auction. Here is 1943 Jefferson Nickel with overdate 3 over 2 and with double diverse, graded in mean state 66 with full steps by PCGS. Breathtakingly beautiful surfaces possesses subtle silver lilac iridescent to bold satin luster. The strike is full, the surface is virtually pristine, and the eye appeal is nothing short of extraordinary. Popular with specialists in all grades, this overdate wartime nickel is scarce with full steps detail. It was sold for $2,400. Here is attractively toned 1946 S Roosevelt time with full bands, graded as MS68 by NGC with star designation. With a grade of MS68 star, this coin is nearly flawless, exhibiting remarkable detail, pristine surfaces, and vibrant luster. 
The NGC star designation is awarded to coins with exceptional eye appeal, often due to beautiful toning or superior brightness. The full bands designation on this coin refers to the full separation of horizontal bands in the torch on the reverse side. For Roosevelt time, this feature indicates a strong, well-defined strike. Obtaining full bands on 1946S dimes, particularly in such high grade, is rare as coins from this mint and period often exhibit weaker strikes. This gem was sold for $1,200 at heritage auctions. This is 1942D Jefferson Nickel with repunched mint mark D over horizontal D, graded in mint state 66 by PCGS. Phenomenal quality and eye appeal for this popular yet challenging Jefferson Nickel RPM variety. Both sides are beautifully toned in blend of iridescent champagne apricot and powder blue. Dressed in a bountiful mint luster as well, surfaces are as smooth and lively as the day the coin emerged from the dice. The 1942 and 1942D were the final copper nickel 5 cents issued until 1946. The war effort will supplant the copper nickel coinage with a copper silver manganese composition that ran from 1942 through 1945 inclusively. This rare era nickel was sold for $5,040 at Stax Powers auction. This is 1978 Eisenhower dollar struck 25% of center. Graded in mint state 65 plus by PCGS. Boldly lustrous with strong devices were present. Of center to the top of the verse at 11.30 excluding the top of the Ike's head and the upper legends from the planchet reverse details present from the eagle's talons upward. Most of center Ike's are found in a lower grade or less than 20% of center. This extraordinary dollar coin sold for $1860. Here is 1965 Roosevelt time struck on a silver planchet graded as AU55 by Anex. This coin is an important transitional error struck on a leftover silver planchet from 1964. The borders have a weak strike likely because it was one of the first coins struck during a die adjustment. This will explain why it was made with a silver planchet. The coin has a nice shine from the fields with a soft golden tone across its surfaces. It was sold for $6,000 at heritage auctions. And this is 1917S Standing Liberty Quarter struck 15% off center. This is a rare and important error from the Standing Liberty Quarter series. The coin is struck off center towards the 7 o'clock position, even with the error, the date mint mark and the main design elements are fully visible. The mistake is clear, though, with blank areas of the coin showing along the upper right side of the front and the lower right side of the back. Graded as uncirculated details by PCGS, it ended up selling for $7,200. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed learning about these fascinating coins and what makes them so valuable to collectors. Don't forget, if you found this video helpful or interesting, please hit the like button and subscribe to stay updated on more rare coin discoveries. God's willing, see you in the next video.